Hello and welcome to this week tutorial. This week tutorial will be the short tutorial. We'll be creating this product right here with HTML CSS. There's no JavaScript. So it just is we had the image, the product name, the price, and we had this icon right here, the cut icon, the preview icon, wish list, and compare. So we'll be starting up from scratch. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello, my name is Marius and welcome to my channel. On this channel, I create web design development tutorials. So, if that's something that interests you, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you won't miss my tutorial. As I said in the introduction, this week gonna be quick tutorial. We're gonna create this product called right here with the image, this icon, the product name, and the price. So I had a blank, started from scratch. I have my HTML open, just a boilerplate, add this container, and set the CSS, just basic boilerplate right here. So without further ado, like I started, if I'm following wrong, I'm using a Visual Studio code and a pre-pros for my live reload. So, I'm um, gonna start creating a div with a class called code. And here, I'm gonna create another div with a class called header. Inside my code he header, okay, put the image right here with a class called product image. And gonna be images for a slash. I already had this image with me. And after this one, we're gonna start creating the this icon right here. So I'm gonna create a UL element for the class called products floats. And right here, I'm gonna create a line. With a class called option and then in the li and create use the button elements and this one we have class of cuts because that's the first one right here class cuts right here is the icon the remix icon where the class will be all right, up in cuts. All right, and this is the remix icon right here. This is the other remix icon that come. That's where I get the icons from. So, put this one, I save it. You have the image right here and the icon. Right here, and I need to load up four of them, so I'm going to duplicate this three more times. So, two, three, four, and this one we had a class called preview, and our uh, name here will be search two, and this one we have the class called wish list. And the class for the icon will be hot. And for the last one, class for compare. And this we had a class equalizer. Save it. We get this for icon right here. So that's our code header. If you need time to pause to write it, you can do so. I'm gonna collapse this one. After the code header, go down, create a code body. Inside of the code body, I'm gonna create a div called product name.
and I had a men, the name would be men's casual shoes. And after this one, Grammarly did a class of products. Price. And gonna be $256. Now save this. So we get this right here. So that's it for the HTML. We move it to the CSS. I'm coming down here. Select my border class that wrap around everything. I set the width being 100 percent and set max width to be 30 RAM, so 30 300 pixel. So a string, I put a back shadow. B0 and X and 0 0.2 and 1.2 for the blur and then for the color I'm gonna use the variable uh, text color RGB which is right here this one right here let's save this we got a code right here now give it a border radius of 0 0.8 RAM. So it's very bad around it. Instead of padding, it be 2 RAM. After my code class, I'm going to select a code header. Header. I set the height to be 35 RAM. The overflow to be hidden. Set position to be relative. Set display. Reflex. Justify contents to be center. Align item also to be center. Save this. This is what we get right here. Now go down to so styling the float right here. This sorry. I'll select the products floats. I set position. We have the loots. Set up top. Be zero right also zero on position right here set display be flex and flex direction we count save this and now add some space between them so I'm gonna set the gap to be 1.2 RAM. So we put some space between them. Now after this one, we're gonna start each individual button right here. This one. So go down here. I'm gonna choose the products, plot, and the option, which is the LI. And the button element itself. <clears throat> and I set the width to be 3 RAM and the height also. So I'm going to get this one. The height 3 RAM. And I set display reflex. If I want to make sure this icon are right in the middle. Line item center justify content center font size to be 1.5 gram and I'll change the background color so background color to be the text color RGB 
and I'll remove the default border right here. So I say border B0 and border radius to be 0 0.2 frame. Now I want to make this background a little bit darker. So I'm going to change this and tap here. The value, I'm going to change it right. So I'm going to go back up right here. This is the original value right here. I'm going to grab this one. Come down here. And this one is going to be 80. So a little bit darker. Now I'm going to change the color of the icon. So the color will be the button over G. I said the cursor, the pointer. So it's clickable right here. And I said transition to be all. I use my transition variable and this should be all. Save it. Now when I hover it, I'll change color, the background color and our icon color. So I'm gonna grab this. Tap it. Come down here. Paste it. I say hover. The background color to be the button hover now color to be the global bg color so get this now we're gonna get to this one and style it so I'll come down here choose Called body. I said text align to be center. Now choose the product name. To be font size 1.4 gram. Save it. A little smaller set of font widths to be 300 so it's with lights so it's lighter now set a margin bottom to be 0 0.21 now I'm gonna start the product price products Uh, all one ten front weights be seven hundred. So that's it. A very short tutorial. So this the finish, and this is what we just did. So we had this icon right here that change background color when we hover over them, and this is the product name and the price. So when we scale it up, you see it looks very really, really responsive. Okay. <laughs> so that's it for the this week tutorial. A very quick and short tutorial. Next week we're gonna create new project. So stay tuned if I'm not already done. So I would like if you like, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you won't miss my tutorial. Thank you again for stopping by. Until next time, have a great one. Bye.